You probably heard the term burn in electronics. Well, this is exactly why we burn electronics in so that we can find component faults. And that little hybrid amplifier, it still has a problem, but we figured it out. Well, here we go again. This thing was playing and the sound just cut out again. Played for about an hour and a half and then I heard a pop and I got no sound. And I'm back to exactly the same situation and I've lost my voltage. And I'm beginning to think that I have a bad tube on this unit. And watch what happens when I pull when this pull this tube here, nothing nothing happens. Okay. But watch what happens when I pull this tube. I get sound back from one channel. We have a bad tube. Now I just so happen that my other little preamp here uses the same tubes. The little other preamp that I built. So I'm going to pull one of the tubes off of this one and plug it in and see whether that fixes my problem. Both channels. This tube, brand new, this is the one that came with the kit, has an internal short. It's shorting cathode to probably cathode to plate somewhere internally or one of the grids that's connected to the plate um, it's pulling the cathode positive anyway and killing the sound let's uh, plug this tube into the tube tester and just see what it shows because I've still got a tube tester that I borrowed and uh, the tube tester of course I can't look up the number of the tube because it's Chinese numbering but we know from the the manual here that the equivalent tube is a 6AU6. So we'll look up a 6AU6 and we'll test that tube and see what the hell's wrong with it. But that's a, that's brand new, like right out of the box. It lasted for, it ran for about four, I'm gonna say 30, 30 or so hours before it went. Cause I ran it overnight and I ran it for 24 hours. It was in the second day that it, uh, that it packed it in and it mimicked I'm sure that I had missed a connection in there and now well now we know that I didn't screw up at all it was just a bad tube so let's take a look at this tube and just see what is wrong with it I'm gonna say it's a short but I got my buddy's uh, my buddy's top tester <laughs> we'll plug this stupid thing in and, and see what uh, this is going on with this tube First, we have to uh, look up the tube number. So it's a 6AU6, so I'm just gonna go through here until I find a 6AU6. 6AE, 6AH, 6, oh, there'll be a 6AU6 in here somewhere. That's a pretty common number. 6AU6, which is also the same as a 6136, which is probably one of the other tubes that it says it can use. Anyway, 6AU6, 6.3 is the uh, filament. So we set the filament to 6.3 and we're going to set the uh, grid to what to 50. Okay, there's a the grid set to 50 and we're going to set the plate to 5. So we get down here and set the plate down to 5 and we're going to set our levers according to this. So first lever goes to a 5 and then a one, and then a two, and then a one, and then a three, and then a three, one, 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 one. And then the V and the S are these ones here, which go to a three and a three. And then we plug the tube into a compatible socket. So we plug it in to like that, and I plug this sucker in, and uh, And let her warm up. Uh, so we turn the power on here, set it to uh, about 120 volts, which is about what my input is. That'll warm up the tube. And once this thing is thoroughly warmed up, we are going to uh, test this thing. Okay, I, I remember what these are for now. These are your leak test. So one, two, and seven. So we're gonna test with one. And look, when we pull down the merit and see we're checking for leakage here. So, one, two, and seven. 
But this one here should be going up, right? It should go to good until I pull the merit lever down. One is showing bad. Now, if I take the other tube, which is identical, we'll test it, because this one here is a good one here, right? So let's just plug this tube in. And it should, on the same test, when it warms up. If I go, I mean, the t tester shows almost the same with this one, but I know that this tube is good. We know that this tube is bad because if I put that tube back in that little unit, it's not going to work. I'm sure that's a question mark on that test. Let's see what this one here does. I'm going to do a, a gain test, which is without any of these buttons pushed. Let it warm up. That's weird. You know, this tester is kind of not testing that the tube is bad. It's, I mean, both of them test the same. Which makes me kind of question it. Because as you can see, if I plug this tube back in to the little amplifier, Now watch it work. Watch the tube tester have cleared the short. Oh yeah, now it's gonna work. Oh, there, 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 there we go. It went out, it's bad. You saw it, it's got a short. So we know that this tube is bad even though my tube tester there um, is inconclusive because it didn't it, it showed the same as this other one. What happens if I plug it into the other channel? It's probably not good to do that. That's probably hard on my uh, speakers. Oh, listen, it's making the other one hum. And one channel's dead. The right channel's dead now. Hmm. Okay, that tube's shot, so. Disregard my last video. Um, we had a bad tube. Don't. Oh! So keep that in mind. Um, usually when tubes fail, they go right away. But I, I, I haven't seen them fail like that. Like this has got a short, and you saw it when I gave it a little thump. It, uh, it cut out. So bad tube. Now I just got to get another one to make this one work. Or Put this one back in service. I actually do have a couple of other tubes here. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna mark this one as bad with my, my bad. Put an X on there. 
so that I know that this tube is foobar. I just got a couple of other ones from another kit, and they're different values. Let's just roll them and see what happens. I'm just going to depower this thing for a second here. Oops, that was the wrong one. Oh, that was the MP3 player I killed. We'll start that back up. I've got a couple of other tubes here, and these are from a different kit. And we'll see whether these ones will work in this unit. Get the MP3 player playing again. These are from the little first headphone amplifier that I built. I know that these tubes work in this preamp. So I know that the, the pin wise and basing they're the same. But do they, will they work on this one? On this unit, these tubes are only being used as a triode, whereas they're being used as a pentode on because they're pentodes, right? But just the way that the sockets are wired on this one, they're being used only as triodes. But on this one, it don't work. Okay, so. These tubes don't work on this one, but they do work on this one. That's the fun with tubes, right? You can roll tubes and So I'm going to have to get another one of these for my little preamp. I think these draw a little more current too because I think they just heated this resistor up a bit. I know that when I had them running on this, it it certainly heated up this dropping resistor. So I have a feeling the filaments on these ones draw a little bit more current. I don't even know what the numbers on these are. Let's see if I can see the numbers on them. More Chinese numbers, right? These are six. These are six Chinese six J five, and these ones are six J ones. But they're both they're both pentodes, as far as I know. Anyway, that's uh, what the problem with this, this bad tube. So disregard the last video where I thought I screwed up. I didn't screw up. I had a bad tube. Catch you later.